When you look at yourself in the mirror, what do you see? Do you admire that person that you look at? Do you appreciate that person enough? When was the last time you told yourself that you are enough? When was the last time when you told yourself that you're beautiful just the way you are? When was the last time you told yourself that you're strong because you never gave up? And if I asked you to name all the things that you love, how long would it take for you to take your name? The conversations that we have with ourselves when there is no one around, when we are looking at ourselves in the mirror, without filters, without makeup, just you with yourself. Those conversations are the most authentic, meaningful, profound and life-changing conversations that you will ever have with anyone in your entire life. But here is the question. Are those conversations worth listening? Are those conversations meaningful enough? One of the most difficult things you will ever experience is to appreciate and admire yourself when you are at your worst. We all have been through those moments. I've been through that moment too. And I'll share that with you. I remember when I sat in the wheelchair for the first time and I looked at myself in the mirror, I hated that sight. It wasn't a blissful sight at all because there was a time when I used to walk around, when I used to stand, I used to look at myself in the mirror, I used to say, oh, how beautiful. And then there I was in the wheelchair for the rest of my life. It was so hard for me to understand that that was my new reality. That the wheelchair is going to be the part of my life for the rest of my life. But as they say, self-love and healing takes time. I remember when I sat in the wheelchair for the first time and when I looked at myself in the mirror, I told myself that this is what it is. I have to accept myself the way I am, the sooner the better. Or I can sit in the corner of the room, wait for a miracle to come and make me walk and ask people for mercy and their time. But here is the thing, world moves on. No one has time for you. So I decided that I'm going to accept myself the way I am. It will be hard, but I'm going to do it and I'm not going to give up. So when I was at my worst, I did not fall prey to self-doubt. And I believed in self-acceptance and self-love in that moment. And trust me, those words truly made my reality. The words that I used for myself became my own reality. I've always talked about self-love and a lot of people ask me that, how do you define self-love? I always say that love yourself, but don't fall in love with yourself. And there's a huge difference between the two. I'll tell you how. They say love is blind. Because when you fall in love with someone, you are unable to see their flaws. You are unable to see the problems. You are unable to see their toxicity. You do not want them to improve or to become better. You just love them the way they are. The same thing happens when we fall in love with ourselves. We are unable to see our mistakes. We are unable to improve. We don't believe in self-analysis and that is dangerous. Whereas when you love yourself, you want to improve. You believe in self-analysis. You do not look at other people's flaws because you're too busy correcting your own flaws. You want to become a better person every single day. That is what self-love is all about. So, if you manage to admire, appreciate, and encourage the person you see in the mirror, trust me, no power in this world will ever be able to shake your self-confidence and your self-love. So accept yourself and remember the words that you use for yourself when you look at yourself in the mirror, those words become your reality. So make sure that the conversation and self-talk that you have with yourself is worth inspiring and worth listening to.